guys welcome back to my channel I hope everybody's having a fantastic week um, this is Thanksgiving week and um, this will I'm not gonna air this one Friday I'd say but uh, so Thanksgiving will be long past not really long past but <laughs> it'll definitely be past us so um, but I hope I really hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving if you celebrated it um, you know for for me it's just a real great time to you know get to spend the day with my husband um, we cook together and you know we make our meal and um, you know it's just overall it's just a really great day to spend with each other you know um, I really um, I really find it, you know, a really great time of year. Um, I do, um, sadly, uh, I miss my parents around this time of year because usually what I'll do is I cook and uh, take them, you know, out a bunch of the food, uh, you know, make sure they had some dinner to eat because uh, my mom always used to cook a big meal um, during Thanksgiving, but. Um, yeah for us kids and we all used to go out there and eat so you know in her older years or their older years you know I always just kind of you know I cooked then and then I made sure I took it to them to eat so yeah it, it does does make me miss my, my mom and my dad um, definitely uh, so but I hope that you guys are all getting to spend time with your loved ones um, you know it's just seems to be to, you know, like I said just seems to be me what it's all about so um but I know uh we're we're gonna make uh we're gonna make turkey we're gonna make stuffing um my husband wants potato salad this year and um it's a different kind of potato salad so we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of fun making that one um that's gonna be yeah that's gonna be a new one so um uh, he he likes it. Uh, it's got like black olives in it, and uh, it's made with um, Hellman's mayonnaise, I, I do believe, and um, paprika and yeah, different stuff like that. Uh, I have never ever ever. Uh, my mom was a big potato salad kind of person, but I wasn't. Uh, she would make potato salad and macaroni salad, and I just that it wasn't for me. I didn't care for it so. But uh, my husband really enjoys this this kind. He said he didn't like the regular kind either. But like I said, this one has like black olives in it and stuff. So um, we kind of got to sort of make it to his taste. So I think that'll be a real fun time. That'll be a real good memory for me and him to share is making, uh, making that potato salad for him. So I hope you guys, you know, like I said as well, you know, have a real good time with each other and your family. And... Um, yeah it's 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 a real real good time of year to appreciate your family and your friends um my i'm gonna make sure that my girlfriend has a plate because um her parents um you know aren't, aren't here so um i usually wind up making her a plate and have her you know she can come over and eat and whatnot and um so yeah i just try to think of my friends too so anyways now that we've <laughs> talk for a few minutes about Thanksgiving um, I want to talk about uh, my fowls I want to talk about the phalaenopsis that got hit this year with the spider mites Arr, stupid fire whistle sorry alrighty y'all we are back uh, I had to <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and make sure um, my husband was on his way home so when the fire whistle goes off of course it worries me and so I had to get a hold of him, make sure everything was all right with him, and so he was on his way home. So he's home now, home safe, and so now I need to get back to talking about my phalaenopsis. Now, um, in my video uh, Sunday, I had asked you guys questions to ask Rick L. Well, um, one of my viewers, Lucy the Cat, uh, she had uh, asked me about um, her fowls had some pits in them and uh, she said you know she was like I don't I really don't know what they could be and 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 we talked about it a little bit and I told her I was like nine times out of ten it's not a nutritional deficiency it winds up being a bug a bug of some kind 
Now, scale will scale will leave a pit and they will leave like a light mark. Um, I can show you a couple plants I have that have some scale damage. But right now, I'm going to show you um, on my fowls. My fowls had spider mite damage, of course, which from where they got hit over the summer was horrible, horrible, horrible with spider mite damage. And um, the spider mite damage did, between the spider mite damage and I think the treatment that I used actually caused some pits in the leaves on my phalaenopsis. So I wanted to show you kind of what it is and um, so that, you know, you guys could get a good idea. And I told um, her, I told her, I said, well, I'll go ahead and do a video on it and that way you can see what mine are and maybe compare and see herself, see if that's what she's got going on or not. If it's, um, cause uh, uh, some bugs are hard to find. Um, I think I've told you before, uh, spider mites actually need uh, 10 times magnum. It's raining outside and people do not know how to drive. <sighs> My husband's home, so that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, um, you need 10 times magnification to see a spider mite, and usually you can't see them until they made damage on your plant already, and usually by the time they make damage, it's too late. Like, it's, it really affects your phalaenopsis really hard, and, um, can really, really cause a lot of damage. Like, this poor little fowl here. Now, as you can see... This one here got beat up super, super hard. And you can see it even caused some necrosis because that they they went along and they sucked out all of the um, nutrients out of this plant right through this spot right here. And it literally had no other choice but to collapse and die. So this one has me a little bit worried. Oh, it, I think it actually is... Um, I think that's a new leaf coming up there. I hope, maybe not. Um, I'm worried, um, yeah, that this one is not gonna go ahead and um, make an, a leaf. I'm hoping, if not anything else, that it'll make a cakey. But, but yeah, see that right there is some of the pitting that you can see with um, damage from spider mites on the top and the bottom. But this is really, this is major. This is really major, major, major damage. Um, you can see some in that leaf, but not as many. Like it really, they really hit this leaf really hard. This leaf was new, so it didn't really get hit. But yeah, this is some of what you can see with, um, with spider mites. Now, this one here... This one's basically the same exact way. You can see you can see the pits. You can see see they even pitted down in the um, in the leaf uh, fold. And see, they can cause pits like that deep pit right there as well. This one, um, this one even got hit on the leaf axis. They even attacked the leaf axis. So, and see, that's what they, that's the kind of damage they do underneath. But see, they really cause a lot of damage before you even know what's going on. See all that pitting like right along the edge there. Um, <clears throat> this one, it has some necrosis in the uh, leaf fold right there because they really killed, yep, yeah, they really killed the leaf there. So, but now here on this one, this bigger, um, this is a different type of pitting that they did. You see how it, uh, 
really put pits in it and the um, show you the underneath is exactly the same way Let's see I got this leaf so this is some different kinds of pitting that they can cause so if you see pitting like that chances are it's a spider mite see right there's some also some different kind of pitting this thing's a little uh, dusty but <clears throat> again right here and these deeper kind of pits over here Yep, and if, like I said, if you lift it up, you can see the different kinds there. So, let me see if I can find, um, I'll find one with some, uh, scale pitting so that you can kind of see the difference. This channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid-related. And they even sell orchids. Use my name code Hillbilly in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. So go check them out, y'all. Alrighty, we are back. Now, this is a bigger plant that um, I recently acquired, and um, it definitely, definitely, it had scale on it, and it's been being treated. I've been treating it with the, um, the Bonod Flakes and um, I have ever since I've treated it like that I have I've noticed it's it's clean like I haven't seen anything else on it I went through wiped the whole plant down very very well um, checked been keep been keep on checking um, around the the base of the plant and everything um, sometimes you can notice this uh this kind of damage like that that is um definitely uh old scale damage um it's hard to tell whether some of this some of this flaky stuff uh off of the sheaths usually kind of unnerve me and make me think that it's got scale um when it's not so but I do, I keep a check on this one and you know, so far so good. It has been, um, it's been good. Um, like I said, moving, moving the stuff around because the scale will stay around the base um, and it will go up around the, um, around the upper part of the plant. And this one did have them up on um, the leaves. Now that is, um, let's see if I can get it to focus. That is some of the pitting that you can see on the leaf here. Do you notice, you see how the indents are? Each one of those had a scale on it and the scale sucked the, the nutrients out of the plant and made a dent, made a pit. So you can definitely see that. Um, not one in there but it's definitely uh that's a really deep pit so but yeah you can that is a way to tell scale and if you look kind of too you can also tell that um it's real light yellow in color in places like you've got dark yellow or dark green and then you've got yellow that yellow is an indication as well that um yeah, that scale was present on this plant. Um, now this one, this one's another one. See if you step back and look at it, you see how it looks. It almost looks like a nutritional deficiency, but it's not. It's actually where scale hit this plant. So and you can even see it uh, on the bottom side. So yeah, yeah, those are indications of scale. So scale will leave pits like that as well. You see like that big yellow dot. Um, all of those, all of those are indications that this plant had scale at some point. See that pit and 
this this leaf got hit really hard I would say that's why it's definitely looking so bad um, but yeah this is all those are all indications of things that you need to look forward or look for when you're uh, looking for bugs um, now you always have to be careful you have to kind of figure out you know which is um, which is spider mites and which is scale so there isn't there isn't any present on here so I can't show you what what they actually look like just a lot of damage left behind by them oops I'm gonna pull the plant over so but yeah I wanted to I wanted to definitely go over the two um, two different types so that you you know be able to tell by the pitting um, now normally like I said normally if you had pits like this and it's scale the scale will still be in the pit so that's when you you know take a cotton ball with alcohol and you clean it out and you wipe them off and get rid of them and then you have to treat the whole plant and get rid of the bug so but I hope that helps um, honey I hope that is what the answer that you was looking for the difference between the types of pits that the bugs can leave um, see those pits would be mistaken for scale pits but like I said I've already known that this one had spider mites so I knew it was not um, was not uh, scale so but the bonad flakes definitely does get rid of scale so if you ever wind up having that issue um, you can get rid of your scale with the bonad flakes but bonad flakes do not touch spider mites so that's spider mites is a whole nother issue that's harder to get rid of <laughs> so um, but there you guys go if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments and with that said I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me and bye for now y'all till we meet again